Hey friends, I just finished yoga, well, oh, a little bit ago. Uh, so I'm still wearing my yoga stuff, which includes my flower shorts. I don't know if you can see it, but I just got flowers on. I love them. Okay, because it's a celebration today. You and me, we made it all the way through the week. Yeah, are you dead yet? No? Awesome. You press play, so I'm hoping you're not dead. Otherwise, zombie issues and this is why we do training right zombie training you got to just be faster than your neighbor anyways okay so today we're going to do a little bit of a mixed bag we've got a nice tabata to warm up we've got some heavy stuff in the middle and then we've got a nice burnout at the end so i promise you you're gonna have a chance to have some fun you and me fun coach baxter is hanging out he's uh currently actively uh participating in high intensity interval napping uh just below the camera and he might poke his head into view. So we're gonna start off with a Tabata. We've got four movements. We're gonna do it four times through walking burpees. Yes, I know, we're gonna do the burpees right away just to get them out of the way because we need to. Then it's done, we'll be fine. Walking burpees, single leg deadlift. We're gonna do two each side. So that's gonna count for the total of four. So we'll just focus on one leg at a time. Push-ups. And then we're going right to the bar for a bar movement, the clean and jerk. Going something relatively light because it is still our warm up. Uh, for reference, I've just got 95 pounds on my bar, which is a fairly light weight uh, that I'm just comfortable moving around and it's really gonna help me build good movement patterns. So 16 rounds, those are your four movements. We're gonna do each of them four times through. You're gonna take two minutes of rest because you're gonna need a little bit of time for transition because the middle section, that's where we're gonna play with the weight. Okay, so you can think back to our squat session uh, two days ago and similar stuff. Okay, so I've programmed and I'm gonna call it a five by five in that there's five rounds of five reps. It is also an E90 every 90 seconds. So 90 seconds, you're gonna be responsible for five reps and also increasing your weight so the next five reps are heavier. Okay. Five rounds, five by five. Depending on the weight that you've got available, make it work for you. Okay, so if we're gonna go heavy, go heavy. If we, especially if we don't have the weights to push ourselves in the deadlift safely, then make the rep scheme work for you. Okay? Maybe instead of the five by five, you do 10 reps in that 90 seconds and give yourself the rest, get me good quality reps, who knows. There will be a full 90 second rest afterwards, a little bit longer because then we're gonna do more deadlifts. It's just a lot of deadlifts, but it's only a three by three. And I've increased the time, two minutes to do three reps, three reps. Door closed, Baxter jumped, shook the camera. Uh, I'm actually just gonna double check, make sure I'm still in frame. Yes, we're okay. Door startled Baxter, he's confused. Uh, all right, so three rounds. Maybe this is where we're gonna play with those bigger, bigger weights, or maybe, especially again, if you don't have those big weights, you've got two minutes, maybe you do a little three by three inside of that. Smash three. Rest, smash three, rest, smash three, okay? And you do that three times. Your choice, your workout today, make it work for you. Two minutes of rest because we can put away our deadlift stuff. The last part is a burnout and it is a reps, okay? 10 minutes, AMRAP, as many rounds, as many reps as possible. We're starting at 20 and we're working our way down by two, so 20, 18, 16, etc. The movements offset squat to ball so grab one weight put it on your shoulder squat to the ball okay ball is optional okay and you can see i've got it there because we're going to use the ball but not necessarily for ball things yes okay offset squat to ball then we're going to do the split lunge using the ball you might remember that can get a little bit squirrely and then the last thing is core, so abs, abs over the ball. Or 
maybe use an ab mat if that's what you're using as well but i'd like to get full extension and then our you know butterfly setups or whatever you'd like if you're not going to do it over a ball you're not going to do it over mats pick an ab movement that's going to work for you that you can complement that okay so it's 20 offset squats that's going to be 10 each side uh 20 split lunges 10 each side and then 20 sit-ups core movements 18 of each 9999 9, 9, 18 you got it, right so let's get started 90 seconds a little bit of mobility okay you can also see here that i have strapped up a band because i'm going to probably use this as a little bit of core stabilization i'm even going to do that right now with some uh, rotators but if you want get into your lunges get into your squats get into your kicks whatever it is that you need okay if you haven't seen my bar warm-up Maybe check that out because there's some really good stuff that I like to use on a regular basis anytime I'm playing with a heavy bar. This door is going to drive me crazy. I think it's going to drive Baxter crazy too. So. No, no one's coming in and out of the door. It's just the wind. We have a nice breezy day. glasses because the sun is kind of poking its head out here. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. Those calories didn't count. You still have 30 seconds. Just keep moving. Okay, might be shoulder movements, warm-ups. We're going to start off with that walking burpee. Okay, so it is from the standing position. You're going to hinge forward, put your feet on the ground. You're going to step back. You're going to lower to the ground, push up, lunge, step forward, and stand. Walking burpee. to your knees that's it okay there are four rounds of this so if you want to make these a little bit more dynamic later on please do you can also really really use this time okay figure out your depth figure out your lunges figure out your squats Okay, next is single leg deadlift. Okay, 30 seconds is short. One leg at a time. A hinge, strong midline. You can tap the toe, the top if you need. This might also, again, start getting towards some weight as you get comfortable and warm for the last set or two. 10 seconds. Simple push ups. Grab one. Just from the knees, perhaps. Maybe you're already on your toes. Maybe you're going for speed. Maybe we're doing those hand release push ups. So we've got absolute full range. Again, you're working. Number five. How do you want to celebrate? thing clean and jerk ground the shoulder shoulder to overhead okay you can cycle them singles you want to do split jerk, you want to do push jerk, you want to do squat jerk, do what makes sense. Starting again. Let's walk out those burpees.
shut the door. You can hear it creaking. Single leg deadlift. I like leaving the door open for Baxter so he can come and go as he wants. But with the wind, it's gonna make those noise the whole time. I mean, there's lots of noise. Number two, push-ups. Still from the knees, maybe from the toes. Maybe just try to keep moving. work on your clean. Cool. Do it. Want to work on your clean into just a push. Cool. Do it. Sport jerk. Do you want? Just do something. This is supposed to be the warm-up. Now if you grab this mod as part of a bigger workout, then you can push here. Do full burpees, do plyo burpees. Single leg deadlift. Maybe we're grabbing weight. You know what? I'm good, I'm gonna just push myself on the bar. Single leg. Maybe from our toes, maybe small sets. Okay, something small. Maybe get a bunch done. Give yourself a break. options okay. and you're gonna have one more time to enjoy those options One final round. Are you pushing? Are you breathing hard enough without pushing? How are you?
adjusting, adapting. Single leg. Last round of push-ups, right here. Okay. So if you want to slow down, get good quality ones, do it. If you want to speed up, you get a high volume, do it. Make it count, make it yours. Last time. Clean and jerk. Big movement, big push. Styles. Same effort. Here you go, one more. Because here is our rest. Okay. Speed. Done. Strength. Start low. Low, of course, being relative. Find your weight. So, you've got five rounds and we're gonna increase every time, right? So where do you wanna start? Okay, I'm adding 45 to each side. So I'm gonna start at 185 pounds. Now you still have 60 seconds to get yourself organized. Okay. This might include getting your straps, getting your chalk. Okay. For those of us using straps, I'm sure you're comfortable with them already. Especially if we start getting into heavy weight, an opportunity is to switch your grip, right? And so if you're grabbing the bar from other opposite sides, the bar can't just roll out of your fingers like it would if you're grabbing from the same side. Okay. That's an option for those who aren't using straps who are going heavy, especially if five reps at a heavy weight is a lot to hold on to. But again, if we're doing light weight, either because that's the equipment that we have or that's the equipment that we've chosen, make this yours. So maybe five isn't going to be enough. Give me some additional reps. Maybe do two sets of five. Be in 90 seconds. Let's go. And we're engaging our lats, okay, pulling the tension out of the bar, and then pressing the ground away. time is designed for you to do the work and load your bar for your next one. But really, 
anywhere that you can fit these reps in, do it. You don't have to start at the belt. Okay, so here, starting off slow. I'm loading 15 additional pounds per side, so 30 extra pounds. my belt that I am going to use eventually. I'm probably going to do at least this one. Hopefully the next one as well without a belt. But we'll figure it out. Five more reps. Ready? 90 seconds. Go. Removing a 10 and adding a 25. So once again, I've increased by a total of 30 pounds. Barbell math gets a little easier as you start playing with it more often. Especially if you're using these standardized plates. Big ones 45, little ones 25, skinny ones 10. Five reps. So I know I talked it, right? That switch grip at the beginning, and you might notice that I'm not doing it. Reason being is I like training my grip strength. Holding the bar like this, same with if you're holding the bar like that. I don't know why you would, but holding the bar in the same way, you have to use your grip strength. So I'm not gonna add 15 this time, I'm just gonna add 10 per side. Okay, so 20 total pounds going back on the bar. seconds. Okay, so we have two more working cycles, right? Five reps. Breathe. Okay, especially if you're loading weight right until the very end there, breathe. Get weight. Because honestly, if you're already at the weight that you're done, you're good with, stay here. Just get good reps. That's it. Adding 20 more pounds for my final set of five. I'm going to be reorganizing these a little bit during the two minute rest or the 90 second rest, rather. Right. 20 seconds. Okay, so what? I'm up to 
So these are 50 combined, plus 45, 95, 105, 110, 120 per side plus the bar. Okay, so 240, 285. Math. Math is easy. <sighs> you have time because this is the last time that you may want to change your bar may or at least in the 90 second duration Five seconds to spare and no I'm not doing more and I'm doing that intentionally because we have a 90 second rest and then we're doing a three by three now what does that mean to you I'm gonna do three heavy reps every two minutes okay now that my warm-up weight is done I'm gonna add weight for the working sets I'm a crazy person. If you've been following along with me and adding weights and you are at your max, don't push it, okay? Make the workout your own, okay? We still have 90 seconds now of actual rest. in time. So I'm going to take off 20 pounds and add 45 each side. I'm also going to slap my weight belt on. Ideally, this should just be a nice, comfortable weight to get those three reps done. I may have to do singles. That's fine. And if I'm feeling good, then maybe I'll add a couple pounds here or there. And yes, I'm aware that most of the world does kilos. I can also do kilos, but here in North America, Pretty much everything follows the American standard, which is pounds. So, okay, there's your two minute start window. Are you already working? Maybe because we're doing a higher volume. Are you still getting prepared, recognizing that you've got three good reps and you've got another 105 seconds to finish those reps? How are you owning this minute, this moment right here? Are you dead yet? Eh, eh, you see? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm ridiculous, I'm aware. Okay. So, belts on, okay? Not cinched super tight, because that's not the point of it. I want to provide something to brace against. I'm pushing my belly out. This locks in my spine, my low back, my core. Three reps. Was it good? Okay. So I was 90, 140 per side, 280 plus the bar, 325. 3.45.
second round, two minutes. Three reps. Breathe. Brace. Okay. Pushing the ground away. So take the slack out of the bar, push the ground away. Stay strong in your midsection. I would have been able to do five, being able to hold on to the bar. My grip was starting to fail. So for the last round, I'm just gonna add 10 pounds. That's it. So nice, relaxed, 355. Or triple. You have big rest coming okay so you're going to in 30 seconds have two more minutes to complete your work and if that means singles do singles give me good reps if that means nine reps five reps six reps do them okay if we're going heavy and if we've measured our own strength appropriately, this three should be a good, solid three. Okay, two minutes of rest is coming. So I'm switching my grip. Especially if you went heavy, give yourself a chance to breathe, rest, recover. We've got squats coming. Try to position this. We've got squats coming. We've got lunges coming. And we've got core coming. Maybe we're doing core over the ball. Okay. So remember, if I can do this, if you're doing core over the ball, nice extension. The split lunges on the ball. Squats to the ball. Offset weight. Starting at 20 and we're working our way down. That's it. Okay? So if you need to spend some time, you know, mobilizing. Loosening back up. Thank you. 
Coach Baxter is here for motivation to get us through the last 10 minutes of work. We can do this. Episode number five. Strong to the end. Okay, starting at 20. Let's grab our weight. Squat, 10 each side. So this might be, especially if we didn't go heavy, okay, this might be an opportunity to go fast. We did go heavy and we are really just being mindful of that midsection. Go slow, go controlled, get the volume in, get the quality reps, chase your ball around as it's obviously driving side to side. So I'm not sure where this is gonna get spliced in. Okay, figure it out. Still got 60 seconds on the clock, okay. I had to pause real quick. Tenant came home, needed to have a quick chat with him. All good to go. Anyways, now that we're done our heavy weights, we've got 10 minutes left, AMRAP. And for the most part, this can be body weight movements. Okay. Obviously, we like to get offset squats. And so if you're feeling up to it, okay, especially if we've got lots of energy left, we didn't necessarily push super heavy into our deadlifts, grab that dumbbell, let's do some offset squats. We're gonna start at 20, offset squat, then down, okay, 18, 16. So, sorry, offset squat, split lunge. Okay, remember that's gonna be the lunge on the ball, chasing the ball around, activate our core, and then abs over the ball as well. Getting ready, 10 seconds. Let's grab our weight. Sunglasses on, because it's sunny. Bracing core, 10 each side. Chase that ball around if it's wobbling on you. Master, hey, chill, chill. I know you want to go in. You got to stay out here with us. Okay, so these final ten minutes, it's your opportunity to go faster if you want. Okay, especially if we're not gonna use weights, go fast. We are gonna use weights. Go slow, go control. Whoo! On each side and we're gonna go down when we get to the 18 it'll be nine each side kick my ball come on the fun challenges of using an implement that wants to move over the ball. Okay, so remember, we can do full extension core. It doesn't have to be over the ball. You can do this on the ground, on an ab mat, or some other ab movement that you want to do. But we're doing 20.
squats. Okay, so if offset isn't going to work for you, you can do goblet squats and you don't even have to use the bow, just go to depth. Nine each side. Baxter wants to go inside. He's got to stick it out. Just like we have to stick it out together. rolling away on you too. Eighteen. Hey. Four four minutes and fifty seconds left. Just Keep working. If you're going faster than me, amazing. If you're going slower, but you're still holding on, amazing. Let's just do it. Oh, puppy. Come here. Hey, come here. Yes, I know. I know. Come supervise. Check, make sure that all my reps are good. I mean, option, right? You don't have to touch your heels. You can reach up, pet your doggo. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. Okay, as I said, if the offset is getting too much, just give me squats. Okay, we're on, I'm on 16 now. Three minutes left. Wowie quads, quad blast.
colorful, exciting words. Final two minutes. I'm dripping. Final two minutes. Come on, doggo. Hey, come here. I need you to make sure that my reps are counting. Yes, come on. He loves that sound. Yes. One doggo setup. Two doggo setups. Three doggo setups. Four doggo setups. I mean, that's my fault. I know. I know. <laughs> Final minute, okay? Just do work. I'm on 14s. I'm gonna get rid of the weight. I'm gonna just try to blast through some reps. 14 squats. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds. Come on, right to the end. Right to the end. light, a little bit heavy, and an opportunity to go. I think Baxter approves. I don't know. Tail wagging. I did good. Did you do good? Did you die? I'm Aaron. Oh. Hope you had fun in season two of yard work. Until next time, friends. Have fun.